Hi everyone, welcome back to NG. I have no idea what I was doing. Great. Uh, did, did, did we just arrive back home? Should I go sleep? Is there anything here? No. We can investigate. I forgot what I was doing. Looks fine. Hmm. Check the kitchen. Mirror. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Hi. <laughs> I cracked myself up. Um, I don't think there's anything here. What's on my to-do list, Chief? Not planning on going out again today. Oh, let's go to bed then. Check the bathroom faucet before bed, just in case. I just did that. What? I literally just checked that. Don't really feel like taking a shower right now. Dude, I, I already just touched that thing. Oh. Maybe it's the, 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 what's the word? Balcony. Nothing? Nothing in particular. Hmm. Check the bathroom faucet before bed. I just did. Maybe maybe we should check the kitchen one then. Because that's what he said to check. Ah, what's going on? The water won't come out. So that one doesn't work now? The shower just turned on by itself! Oh no! I need to hurry and turn it off again. Faucet's running on its own. Water begins gushing from the faucet that refused to release water no matter what I did. Frantically turned the up. But the water won't stop at all. What the hell's going on? Just run outside, dude. Oh, someone at the door? Check outside the door. Yeah, I just saved anyway. May as well check. Of course there's no one. Is it her stain on the door again? Something wet suddenly touches my left shoulder and I jerk my body back. <gasps> ah! That's so creepy! Oh my god! <laughs> Baby, tell me. Holy shit, that's so creepy. My fear is suffocating me. The sensation isn't coming from fear. It feels like water is being forced down my throat. Wait, is this how I die? I can't get air through my nose or mouth. My body is slowly suffocating. I can't breathe. Don't know. The fuck? I didn't expect this to happen. So we should not open the door? What should I do? What does she want? Oh shit! Uh, hold up the bracelet. Tell her she's the murder victim. Pray. Ah, shit. I guess the bracelet doesn't work after all. Maybe it's time to give this a try. Hold up the bracelet and say a prayer. The pressure doesn't lessen up in the slightest. Struggle to move in desperate attempt to live, but a strangling sensation settles around my neck. She's looking for... Right as I realize this, my consciousness slowly sinks into the dark water. Okay. I'm so bad at these. I always fuck it up. <laughs> I want to live! Let's see. So, should we tell her the midwife did it? Okay. The midwife. She ran off with the baby. Fight, I fight the suffocating feeling to force the words out of my throat. I still can't breathe. 
I'm slowly losing consciousness. Am I going to die like this? Are you gonna get CPR by someone or she left? Nice. I can't breathe. You're breathing, dude. You're okay. Did I survive? You sure did, Buckaroo. Nice. The sudden silence in the kitchen is hard to believe. The oxygen deprivation headache pounding my skull tells me that that really happened. If this is gonna happen every day, I'm not gonna make it. You're gonna just fall onto the- yeah, collapse on the bed. <laughs> Urashima onna, looking for her baby. Maybe she's waiting at the lake, waiting for the midwife who took her baby. Listening for something thrown in the water. Oh, what am I supposed to do? That's why if you throw a rock in, she might show up. She's waiting for the baby to be dumped in the lake. Frustrated with my lack of answers, I close my eyes. But what if the baby's still alive? I can't fall asleep by doing that. My eyes snap open every time I sense there's a presence nearby. But no one's there. I'm just overreacting. I don't end up getting a lick of sleep for hours. Is that something you can say? It's only after the sky brightens and the witching time passes that I finally manage some shut eye. So he sleeps like maybe two, three hours. Sure, I would like to save. I hope the recording is fine. Looks like it. Sun's down, but it's still too early to meet up. <clears throat> what to do? Eat something while I can. Never really mattered what I stuffed in my face before, but gotten some practice in while taking care of Ami. I'm gonna cook something? Wonder what I've got around. I never bothered restocking the fridge this past week. Can't take can't make much, but maybe. What? What am I feeling? The bathroom lights on. My face is all itchy and hot. Something on my face? Slowly reach up to touch my cheek. Something bites me. It's like a mouth chomped my finger. And it's definitely not something I'm controlling. The hell? Uh, what the fuck is that? That's fucking creepy. A whisper comes from somewhere. It's time for a tale. Once upon a time, there was a young man named Gabu. He takes a boat and starts rowing. Where is the boat taking him? To Ryugu Island! <gasps> the fuck is on your face, dude? This doesn't make sense. What's going on? What's happening with my face? I run into the bathroom and stare in the mirror. Oh, okay. So you can't see it. There's no mouth anywhere. Can't be, I swear it was there. I can still feel the pinch of teeth on my finger. Fucking gross. Shit, what the hell's happening to me? Ksaw. Okay. Oh! Kakuya! She's here. That clear tone, that melody, Kakuya's flute. It's like she timed it. But that's fine by me. I have some things I'm gonna need her to answer for me. Deja vu all over again as I run outside following the sound of the flute. I'm running through the underpass when the sound of the flute suddenly stops. Is the car coming back? Cold breeze not matching the season blows down the dark concrete path. I was gonna say, like, is anything gonna happen, or what? I don't even realize Kakia is there until she's in front of me. Silent with no hint of her presence, like she'd always been there. Nice to see you again. I hear words, but her face doesn't move an inch. I was right, she's not human, she's a doll. You're looking for the Urash Urashima woman. Ah, Urashima onna, Urashima woman. So, it's time for a tale, then. Kakia wants to know what's going to happen. That phrase. So, you're responsible for those mouths. Like last time, I can barely get my voice to work. All my muscles are tensed up. I can't move a finger. 
You heard the mouth's voice. That's so amazing. Yuri and Ami couldn't hear them. Where? What are they? A curse. First, it's time. Then, it's almost the finale. It ends with happily ever after. When that happens, it's all over. You'll disappear. So it's a countdown to my death. Like the clock in uh, Deathmark. Hazuki said that spirits want to strike fear in humans. This curse is how she does it. The Urashima Onna is consumed by a grudge. If you learn of her grudge, then the Urashima woman will disappear. Now I'm saying just woman and Onna back to back. You will win the game. But if you destroy the Urashima Onna, the grudge could be left behind. What does that mean? What happens if it's left behind? That's a secret, Kakia won't tell. But you'll be okay. Kakia will forgive you because you won the game. But anyone else? Ha ha ha. What are you saying? Oh. Momo? Uh, Kaoru? Kakuya is always watching you. Always. <laughs> so I'm fine because I just found her and that's all I had to do. But maybe uh, Hazuki and Seiji? Seiji didn't meet her, did he? Are still in danger? She melts into the darkness and is gone. God damn it. None of this makes sense. If I uncover the Urashima woman's grudge, then I guess I win the game. But if her grudge is left behind, then something terrible will happen. So you have to fix it. Ba, 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 ba. Amanome. Hey, you're late. We're supposed to meet, remember? Me aside to be so bold as to make a famous idol wait. Think highly of yourself, huh? I need to take some lessons from you. Yeah, I'll be right there. I hang up before you can reply and start running towards the station. The panic coursing my veins hastens my steps. The lights are on when I finally arrive at Black Rabbit. It's only Amanoma and Hazuki inside though, no sign of Natsumi. Don't look so suspicious, Gabu. Miss Natsumi happened to come by as we were waiting outside for you. I told her about how we were meeting up and she let us in. Sadly, she couldn't stay. I see. You okay? You're usually... No, not hey Siri. <laughs> I said I see. <laughs> you okay? You're usually raring to go, but you don't look so good. Did you get up to something at the haunted place and a ghost ended up possessing you? That happened to me once. My body felt heavy for three days. Guess not. So what did happen? <laughs> I met Kakia again. I tell them what happened. Yeah, I recap for them everything she told me. About the curse that appeared on my body, how I have a time limit until it devours me. And my winning condition for the game. Then, does that mean... If we don't deal with the Urashima woman before the time limit runs out, you're going to die? Damn it. With what happened with Yuri, I'd always thought it was a possibility, but... I didn't think we'd be so pressed for time. I'm surprised. They immediately believed everything I told them. Guess that makes sense, though. They both already accept the fact that the Urashima Onna exists. We've entered the world of spirits and ghosts, and there's no turning back. This means we better prepare ourselves for our trip to Yamato Shrine tonight. I should take measures to make sure nothing gets in our way. Excuse me for a second. Are you gonna get rid of the guards? Amanome leaves the bar and goes outside. What's he planning? I recognize that smile. I'm getting a bad feeling. Hazuki and I are left to wait at the bar. A minute passes and I realize Hazuki is staring holes in my face. Something on my face? Can I ask you one thing? What? You look pretty calm to me, but... Aren't you scared? Yeah. Right. Of course you're not fine. Hey, Gabu. I won't let you die. No matter what. I'll do everything I can. Ask me anything. Husky. We only just met, but... I want to know more about you. In the supernatural sense, of course. <laughs> Someone who can use blood matrice is fascinating, obviously. 
She seems to be panicking. Is she rambling just to convince herself of something? She likes me. Hi, welcome back. I'm back. Oh, Hazuki, you look rather warm. Something happened? Are oh, she blushing? You're imagining things, or maybe it's because of a ghost. There could be a ghost that died from heat stroke wandering around. <laughs> I see. We'll go with that then. I'm too warm as well, actually. <laughs> Mr. Seiji called me. One second. Okay. Maruhashi follows Amanome inside. That head looks familiar. Oh, this is the first time they're seeing each other again. Are you from that one time? Oh, right. Sorry about before. You were cute and looked so much like Momo that I went too far. Please forgive me. That's fine. Gabi beat you up over it, so we're even. <laughs> But why are you here? I had him look into all the incidents that have occurred at Yamato Shrine. I know he doesn't look it, but this guy's side, side job is information. Heh, <laughs> Mr. Sage is right. Just come to me if you need to know about any shady business going down in Shinza. Anyway, about Yamato Shrine. Have any of you heard of the Kisoji pregnant woman murder? It was where a pregnant woman named Himeko Shimizu was killed by a midwife. Oh, we have her name now. This is the first time I've heard the woman's name, though. I know about it, too. The pregnant woman was put in a suitcase and disposed of on Dugu Island, right? You guys are very informed. Mr. Seiji, it looks like they already know. What should I... Maruhashi, you know what happens if you embarrass me, right? Yes, sir, I do! What about this? The culprit, the midwife, held a strong attachment to babies. Pretty messed up, but... Where it is, she would sec secretly take stillborn fetuses that died at the hospital. What the hell? Could it be... Was she comforting herself with them since she couldn't have a child herself? Your guess is as good as mine. But after she killed the pregnant woman, she got her hands on a baby that was still alive. She didn't need her substitutes anymore. So the midwife apparently got rid of the fetuses in Hiroshima Lake. That damn lake again. This is crazy. My thoughts exactly. This combined with sinking the suitcase, it seems like the lake is a favorite spot for the culprit. Investigators searched for the fetuses too, but like the woman's body, they couldn't find them. They were so small that they probably became fish food. Turtle food! Don't be so blunt about something so terrible. You're surprisingly delicate. Seems like Amanome is totally fine with creepy topics as long as, long as it isn't ghosts. Makes sense. That's all I got to report. Did I help at all? Yeah, you did. We didn't know about the fetuses. Glad to be of service, sir. Regardless, our plans haven't changed. We'll sneak into Yamato Shrine again and follow the Hiroshima woman's trail. We've got the oars now, so we should check out Ryugu Island. The only snag then is how to get inside. Hopefully the guard today is the same one as two days ago. All oh, right, the idol otaku. True, it would help us immensely if he's the one watching the entrance. You're talking about Yamagami, yeah? <laughs> oh, you know him? He's not on guard duty today. Maruhashi, how do you know him? He's in the Momokurase fan club. I knew it. He's a friend? No, never! There's no way! Yamagami only talks about Boma's boobs! <laughs> he goes on and on about how it's wonderful they aren't padded. It's like he's insulting her. Boma's charm comes for her beautiful legs and finely shaped ass! <laughs> Be quiet! I could care less about your terrible tastes. <laughs> Sorry, it got too hot. I contacted Yamagami when I was gathering info on the shrine, but... Seems he's missing or something. What? He disappeared two nights ago while he was on patrol in the park. Oh shit, another victim? No one knows what happened, so it doesn't look like anyone's called to cops yet. Two nights ago... Gabu, did you kill him? 
Of course not. He went missing after Amanome and I escaped. What happened to the guard after we left? Two nights ago, there was one other person at the shrine besides us. If he was patrolling around the lake, then they might have encountered each other. No, it can't be. Why don't we head over to the shrine? Let's see how everything stands first, then we can think of a way in. Maybe we'll be in for a pleasant surprise. Might be less guarded than we expect. A guard up and vanished. I think it would be even more tightly guarded. There were a lot there yesterday. Oh, maybe they're, Maybe that's why there were two, because the one dude just disappeared. I do agree, we should still go. We take too long on this and you'll die. Forcing our way in might end up being an option. If you're going out, shall I go with? You stay here, Marahashi. You stand out even worse than Hazuki. Use the laptop and find out what you can about that pregnant woman incident. If you uncover anything new, let us know. Yes, sir. Leave guarding the bar to me. I won't ask what you guys are planning, but be careful. Marahashi is an obedient underling, like a dog. Amanoma has really brought him, in, brought him to heal. The three of us leave Black Rabbit, taking our usual path towards the, sh towards the shrine. Am, 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 am. So much talking. Ah! <laughs> Creepy hand, it's tea time. Halfway point. No, it's a third. Uh, murder at Kisoji, victim was pregnant, Himeko Shimizu. Uh, killer was a midwife who took the baby. Is the baby dead or alive? Evidence that body disposed of near Dugu Island, filled with rocks. Filled with rocks? The suitcase. Oh, the suitcase. When it was retrieved, it was empty. The Urashima woman came to my apartment. Ooh, that's hot. Haha, <laughs> that's hot. Oh shit! Look at the guard thing! We're headed to Ryugu Island, right? You're almost out of time, so we have to row out there tonight, no matter what. I hit the oars two nights ago. We can pick them up and head to the boat dock. Yeah, sounds good. Amanome? What's wrong? Nothing. Just thinking about something. Look at the fucking thing! Huh? The lights are off in the security station. I don't sense any movement. I think no one's there. Maji. <laughs> oh, how lucky is that? I'll go check just in case. She dashes over to the security station. What are the chances that no one's here? Maybe karma's finally working for us. <laughs> you don't believe me? People still win the lottery even though here there's a million to one chance. I'm sure coincidences like this happen all the time. Amanome's phone rings. Hello? Washimashi? Perfect. It's just for a night. They'll just have to deal with it. Start it all out with their higher ups too. They start bitching, show them that photo. Oh, and don't tell Marahashi. He's an idiot. <laughs> Sorry for that. Sounds like the... The sem Semoid? Back at the house got sick, so they were asking where the medicine was. Bullshit. Sounds more like Amanome pulled some strings to create the situation we're in now. You did this? I'm back. What's up? You're making a strange face. It's all very- it all was very strange. The window was broken and the lock pried open. The whole place was a mess. It felt like a break-in and the inhabitants were kidnapped. Shit. A drunk must have flown into a rage and broke the door open. The guy fell and injured himself, so the guards dutifully escorted him to the hospital. I'm just spitballing here, but it's probably something like that. Well, whatever. One way or another one way or another, now's our chance. Let's go our let's get our butts inside ASAP. Hell, why don't we all just go in? Someone needs to stay and be a lookout. Someone could come by, notice the guards are missing, and call the police. Besides, three people are probably too much for that boat. It looks unreliable. True, it would be awful if it capsized. We should decide who stays behind them. 
About that. I think it would be better if I stay behind today. Why? How should I put this? Um, I just have a bad feeling. What are you saying? Ah, whatever. Let's just hurry and decide. Uh, let's take Hazuki. I feel like she knows more about the occult. We'll need you to keep an eye out here. And he wants okay. to stay out, so... Okay, better as a backup. All right, let's go. Ta-da! Everything looks the same as it did two years ago. Uh, two days ago, Jeez, Jesus, two years ago? It's been 84 years! Didn't you hide the oars in the bushes before you escaped? Hopefully no one found them. I'll go get them. Pushing aside branches, I find the boat oars in the, sec in the exact same spot where I left them. Okay. Let's head to the boat dock. Oh no. Baby! Wind shifts and my ears catch what sounds like a baby crying. I can't tell where it's coming from, but it doesn't seem far. Are you immediately getting attacked? Glancing around me, there's nothing that could be the source of the sound. What could that be? There's no way a baby would be here this late at night, right? Suddenly I remember that story Maruhashi told us earlier. How the murdering midwife disposed of a bunch of fetus corpses in the waters of Urashima Lake. I'm sure it's not. The crying stops. Hmm. Should we check it out? No baby here. Or here. I guess we're just gonna go up ahead then. Hey! <gasps> baby! I have the oars. Need to place them in the boat before we do anything. Set them up. All right, let's go. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I climb aboard with Husky. Ah! Baby! Ah, oh, I'm blocking it with my cam. Wait, 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 before anything happens. Here. See that? See that baby? Creepy. Not really. Am I imagining things then? Uh, <laughs> creepy. Okay, so what are we doing? No points of investigation, no there. A black shadow slips by in the water. Is that a koi fish? I thought it was kind of too big for one. Shit. Center of the lake. Holy fuck, this is creepy shit! The shrine gate is set up to look like it's floating on the lake. Maybe the proper way to pass it is to steer the boat through it before going to the island. <laughs> I tie the boat to the pier and step onto the island. This is definitely where she died. I take a look around. Not that it's necessary. This place is so small I can see everything without turning. Oh. There's no way to describe the sound of the sigh she just made. Well, I just did it. Just look at this eerie atmosphere. Hey, baby. Come on. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Baby's on my lap again. This building reminds me of a Chinese-style shrine. Doesn't this just get you excited? It does, doesn't it? Right? You're staring at the sanctum. What is it? This is it. This is the place I saw in my vision. What? The suitcase with the pregnant woman inside was thrown away here. Ah, is that so? But the police found that suitcase, right? I thought they said it was empty. Yeah. If, when the pregnant woman died, she turned into the Urash Urashima Onna, then there might be some kind of clue left in this place. 
Let's investigate! Okay, nothing about... Okay, trees? Let's, let's go outward, working, out, working our way inward. Looks like there are two cherry blossom trees on this island. I see there's new growth judging by the leaves. Oh, that's good. It's an unusually shaped shrine. Ouch, baby. The walls and roof look kind of Chinese inspired and the pillars raised higher in case of the flood, of a flood. Baby's licking my arm, but his tongue is so rough it kind of hurts. Stone lantern that looks relatively new, nothing unusual about it. Doesn't seem like anyone's come to clean it lately as there's moss growing on it. Feels old. Could have a spooky history. I'd love to take this home for my yard. <laughs> you have a yard? Must be pretty rich. Um, okay, I don't think we can use anything on it. And the other thing doesn't have anything. Let's go for the doors then. A small sanctum built in the center of the island. I reach out and touch the double doors. Something in the water? What's wrong? No, it's just... The door is soaked. Oh. It surprised me is all. If it's wet, then the Urashima woman is here? Maybe. Then... Wanna go in? Oh, I should have saved! We can't. As expected, it's locked. Hmm, I see. Ghosts could phase right through it, but lowly humans have physical bodies. I could maybe break something like this down. Ouch, 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 baby. His tongue is so rough. It would take some time, but they're wooden doors. Easy enough to destroy. Could also break in by knocking down another area. It's probably not a good idea. I should avoid making loud sounds. It's midnight. There's a chance the neighbors will call the cops. Neighbors? That far away? You're right. Someone might hear the sound and call the cops. No one's gonna fucking hear us on the middle of a lake in the city. Well, that too, but the gods might punish you for desecrating it. That's true. I would believe that over the neighbors. Whatever. Let's just look for a key. Security guard usually has the keys to the buildings, but... Oh, baby time. There's that baby crying sound again. I quickly glance around the small island, but I'm not surprised not to see a baby anywhere. <sighs> this is definitely a supernatural phenomenon. Phenomenon! Do 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 do. We have to find what's causing it. Do 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 do. Wait, you're serious? Do 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 do. Very serious. Do 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 do. It's a baby. <laughs> oh, whoops. It would be a horrible travesty if we ignored the little thing. I mean, if we're hearing it here as well as where we got into the park, then it's definitely supernatural. I am curious, I guess. The crying abruptly stops. Okay, time to save. Oh, I can't. Oh, no, I can. Save. Yes. Uh, that's today. Yep, 5.30. Okay, so what now? What do we do? Can we turn around? Oh, what the fuck? Something's under the lantern. Fuck, I just had to... Oh, fuck. I just had to investigate it again. I hate it when it happens to me. It's always like, yeah, you just have to read it twice or three times and then something happens. Something's moving on the ground. A turtle? Yeah! Cute! Oh, there's a face on it! Something strange is on its back. What's with this shell? What should I do? It really looks like a person's face. A real human-faced turtle! Can't tell if she's scared or happy about it. But you know, doesn't it remind you of a baby's face? So these are her babies? An uncomfortable thought crosses my mind. This turtle lives in Urashima Lake where all sorts of things are abandoned. Could this face be a discarded fetus? Hmm. I wonder if this little guy is where the crying baby sound we heard earlier came from. Maybe. Here we go! Oh, there, there. Husky, what are you doing? I'm giving it a hug. It's the best way to calm a crying baby. Hazuki beams down at the turtle cradled to her chest. 
I've had an acting role as a big sister who took care of a baby, so just leave it to me. Even the director said I'd make a wonderful mother. Not exactly the issue here. Don't touch suspicious things. You'll get no help from me if you end up cursed. Uh, you got a point. She placed the human-faced turtle back on the ground. Kinda feel bad leaving it here. It's so cute. In what way? Oh! Did it disappear? I blink and the turtle with the creepy shell disappears. Are you kidding me? Whoa, supernatural phenomenon! Phenomenon! Doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. Maybe the little guy really was the ghost of a baby. If so, could I have soothed it, soothed it enough with a motherly warmth that it's able to rest in peace? Hmm. You look more somber than usual. Hey, Gabu. We heard a baby crying on our way here, right? Could that... Might have been another human-faced turtle. Poor thing must be looking for its mommy, too. We have to help it. She gained some strange sense of duty now that her maternal instinct had fired up. Chill out, Hazuki. It's not important. We gotta find the key to Tamate's sanctum first. Ah, oh, so maybe we heard the crying- we heard- Because I was thinking, how can we have heard the crying at the fountain end here? Because it's too far away from each other? Maybe there's another turtle at the fountain. Must be something inside that's connected to the Urashima woman. If anyone would have it, it would be the security guard. Oh yeah, the missing guard. He was the one who told me about Diogo Island. The idol otaku guard was trying to impress Momo Kurose. So maybe he went to Tamate's sanctum with the key. Let's look for the guard. He might still be in the park somewhere. Okay. Though if she is in the park, I doubt he's still alive. Yeah, of course. to show you something. <laughs> so positioning the webcam. Look how cute. Oh, <laughs> he looks so grumpy though. Ooh. Oh, he's happy. Now he looks less grumpy. <laughs> For some reason, these NG sessions are so fucking chill. <laughs> I need to be ready for anything. Okay. So, we heard another baby at the fountain. Maybe that's it. Um, but now that I triggered that, I should just check everywhere again, I guess. <sighs> I checked everywhere. Let's see. Okay. Let's try and find the turtle babies. Any turtle here? No? The koi again? Okay. Let's see. So, we heard a baby here. Yeah. Heard a baby crying again. Baby's calling! Please help me find it! It shouldn't divert us too much if we keep looking for the guard at the same time. Crying immediately stops. Oh. Studying the ground near the fountain. Ah, there we go. We find a human-faced turtle. So it was you who was crying. Wait, this one's different? How? Looks identical to me. You can't? This little guy is a teensy bit more handsome. <laughs> they look exactly the same. She immediately scoops up the turtle. Here you are. I'm sorry you had to wait. Mommy's here now, so don't cry. Peekaboo! Hazuki's making silly faces at the turtle. She's got cradled to her chest. What an ugly face. That's not a good look for an idol. Shut it. Once she's deemed the turtle lulled, she places it on the ground. And it's gone! Cool. Human faced turtle then disappears. Rest in peace, little one. Okay, so we just have to go around and listen for the crying. Hazuki lowers her head and prays towards the spot where the turtle vanished. Oh, come on. We need to find the guard, not save turtles, damn it. Gritting my teeth, I work to stay calm. Situation is nothing like yesterday. Countdown to my death has started. Wasting time like this will just... Hmm. Since it has to do with the park, then maybe the little ones know something. 
You don't mean the human faced turtles, do you? <laughs> That's right. If we find one again, I'll ask it about the guard for you. Okay. No crying, so I guess this is good. Ah! It worked! So? Where you at, baby? Oh! Behind a bush! <laughs> Another one. She immediately scoops up the turtle. Good evening, little guy. <laughs> Could you tell us the location of... <laughs> she hugs the turtle tightly. Hey, little guy. A man disappeared in this park. Can you tell mommy if you know anything? When she deemed the turtle lulled, she placed it on the ground. And it's gone. Human face turtle then disappears. We're counting on you, little one. Okay, there we go. Let us see if the turtle shell answers our prayer. I think I lost some brain cells. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. It hurt me to say too. What? He just put his face, like, in my arm. Are you comfy? I think he's comfy. <laughs> you just want to sleep like that? That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> There's a man's voice mixed in with the sound of the wind that blew in from the lake. A low groan, like he's in pain. That wasn't me imagining things, right? Yeah. Came from over by Urashima Lake. What? Oh no! Ugh, so gross! Countless mouths surface and begin cr crudely laughing. Almost the finale of the tale! Brought by turtles you saved, here you are at Dugo Island. I felt like that was supposed to rhyme, but... Shit! What's wrong? The curse, it's back again. The whisper said it's time before, but now they're saying it's almost the finale. Death is breathing down my neck now. I'm out of time. We gotta hurry to Urashima Lake. Right. Well, let's go back then. I'm assuming lulling the turtles did something. <laughs> That's great out of context. <laughs> okay. Ah! There he is! Something wrong? I think there's someone, something floating over there. It's someone. Let's go see. Something big floats on the surface of the water. That shape, it couldn't be. It's a dude. I step closer to the to take a better look and... Whoa! <gasps> His mouth is turning into a turtle mouth! Ah, oh, that's fucking gross! Wait, let me actually... Um, I want to get a good shot for the thumbnail. <laughs> let me turn my webcam off for a bit. My camera. Illuminated in the ring of light is very clearly a human corpse. No way. My heart is thundering right, of, right out of my chest. Now I've been through some rough shit, but I have never seen a corpse like this. His face. She points a trembling finger at the corpse's head. What's wrong with his face? She has a point. It does look strange. His mouth is abnormally pointed for some reason. Almost like a turtle's mouth. Gabu, this man. He's the missing guard, my fan. The guy from two days ago. I knew it. It's him. It makes sense that it, it took her a minute to realize. His face looks completely different from when he was alive. Wasn't his name Yamagami or something? No wonder he didn't answer Maruhashi's calls. But why did he appear now? Look at all the turtles! 
do you think the little one showed us? I don't know. Could be a coincidence. So, what now? I'll take a closer look. You probably shouldn't watch. Okay. I drag the corpse ashore with the oar and start searching through his things. In his chest pocket is a small key with a plastic tag. Cool. There I am. <laughs> Hi, I'm back. The tag reads Tamete Sanctum. Cool, we got it. How's it going? Find anything? Just what we need. He had the key to Tamate Sanctum. I knew it, so it was true. He tried to take a look at Tamate Shrine for Momokurose, so the Urashima Onna probably... No point in, re in regretting it now. I know. Let's save, now that we have the key. I'm sure that once we open- if he died opening the thing... I'm almost positive we're gonna have to fight some- somehow. When we try to open it. I use the key to open the door. Oh, we're in, boys! <gasps> oh. Creepy. Ah, oh, look at the face on the right! The place is smaller than I expected. The cramped insides hold a bunch of religious items. I even see a handful of household altars. But there's one thing that obviously doesn't belong. Another stroller. I can't believe there's one here. I knew it. Urashima woman came to this sanctum. There's gotta be some kind of important secret hidden here. Well, let's investigate, I guess. Giant vase as tall as a small child. Looking inside. At the bottom, sorry. All I find is what looks like trash. Empty cans and glass bottles. Is this a trash can? That would make this one hell of a trash can. Running the light over it, I feel like I saw something shiny under the trash. Nothing to it but to look. I reach inside the vase and pick up a cell phone strap. Looking closer, the metal plate's got a pink ghost holding a microphone. That's... It's a limited edition Momochi strap, the Momokurase fan club. Who dare throw this away? <laughs> pink ghost must be this Momochi thing. Momochi. If it's a limited item for the fan club, one guess as to who it belongs to. Must be the dead security guards. He came to Tamate Sanctum. That's why he must have been killed by the Urashima Onna. Hazuki bites her lip, her fists tightly clenched. One of her fans was killed. I, I don't doubt she's furious, but she's holding it in. Okay. <gasps> oh! Now it's normal! Creepy. Should we go for the stroller? Large turtle shell decorates on the wall. Decorates the wall? It's too big to stuff inside my bag. <laughs> Why would you want to take that? <laughs> it's a slightly dirty stroller that looks like the one we saw a few times in the park. Should we put the things in there? I dig through the dirty fabric inside the stroller. An amulet falls out. Safe birth amulet. This came from inside the stroller, so it probably belongs to the Urashima Onna. Okay. I think we might put the baby stuff in there later, but... I'm gonna check more stuff. A mirror decorates the altar. It's been cleaned regularly. It's not cloudy or dirty. I carefully search around. Across from the mirror is a rolled up piece of paper. When I spread it out, inside is a syringe with some dark stains on it. Oh, is it blood? The stains on the syringe could be blood. Mise no coquille! I reluctantly grab the dirty syringe. I take a deep breath and touch the stain. There we go. What a stubborn mother. I've already told you, at this rate, your child will be in danger. See, it's crying less than before. What? No, my baby, my baby! What the fuck? It seems to be some kind of delivery room. Holy shit. A woman who looks like a midwife is holding a baby. For such a desperate situation, she appears to be enjoying herself, like she's having fun. Oh my god. We must take this child to the doctor. 
Really? The baby's going to be okay? Do it now! Save my baby! Hurry! Oh goodness, what's with that attitude? I dislike it when people order me around. What should I do? It might already be too late even if I get the doctor involved. If that's the case, then I might as well... No! Please, I'm begging you, save the baby! Dear me, what a noisy mother. Well then, we'll just have to quiet her down first. Sharp tip of the syringe held in the midwife's hand glints in the light. Hold on, sweetie. I'll put your mother at ease soon. <coughs> Give him back! Kaiste! <coughs> oh, baby. He moved. Drops of sweat splash on the floor. <gasps> what was that? What did you see? I explained what I saw. The delivery room and the midwife. But what was going on there wasn't normal. Something bugging me though. The Kisoji murder story we heard from Maruhashi. A pregnant woman who was killed. The Urashima woman. Her child wasn't taken away. The midwife made it so the child was dead at birth. That's so awful. After she was killed by some kind of drug. She was stuffed into a suitcase and drowned in the lake. The midwife must have hidden the syringe since it's a murder weapon. The Hiroshima woman didn't notice? That's my guess. I mean, it was on the household altar. Household? It's kind of difficult for a spirit to get close to one. Huh? Something written on the paper that was around the syringe. This is... Korewa. If I'm reading this right, this would be proof of stillbirth. I guess the baby couldn't be saved, so the midwife just reported it as a stillbirth? So she was so desperate for a baby that she took this one, but then it died in the end. How horrible. Or she killed it. I still think the Urashima Onna is the... not the woman that died, but the... Uh, the... the midwife. No! Already? <gasps> oh no! The screams from the mouths pierce my brain. The tale has reached happily ever after. Don't open, don't open, don't open. Door to the Tamate Sanctum door has been opened. <laughs> Wait, does that mean we found out in time? Do you mean the curse? I wipe the sweat from my brow and nod. The whispers reached happily ever after. If Kakia told the truth, I'm gonna die. Damn it, what should I do? I should save is what I should do. <laughs> okay, uh, what should we do? Did we check out the stroller? Yeah, we did. How about we put the baby stuff in there? No, we can't. We don't, we don't have a purpose yet. Should we head outside? We step outside the sanctum. Suddenly I'm hit by a disgusting smell carried on the night's breeze. Like something's rotten or stagnant water. There she is! Right on time. I spin around. What's wrong? A voice. Did you hear a voice just now? Was there one? Oh, there she is! I just saw the Rashimona! She eagerly looks behind her. There's nothing there. Did I imagine it? I bet she's behind her now. I definitely saw something when I moved the light. Yeah, she's right behind you! Kazuki, behind you! <laughs> oh, creepy! Completely soaked woman appears out of nowhere right behind Hazuki. She stumbles and falls on her ass in surprise. Her, her butt. I quickly move to stand in front of her. My baby! That thing is all wrong. All wrong. It's not right. I'll keep her occupied. Go and get the boat prepped. <laughs> Make sure you don't hit or kick her. There's no point against ghosts. Plus, they like to kill you if, if you do things like that. Whatever, just hurry up and go. 
Oh, she's so creepy. Are we gonna see her face? How the hell should I buy some time? I need to keep her here as long as possible. Give her the baby stuff. Get her attention. Encounter the spirit and your life's on the line. Search for hints to survive by reviewing all the information you currently have on you. Check the spirit file by pressing the X button. Item descriptions are important. Choose an item on the tool screen and press the button to check out. Just to, just press the Y button to check out the description. Okay, here we go. Our first real encounter. Only took us 14 episodes. Okay. Um, Killer was a midwife who took the baby. The baby's dead. The baby was disposed of. De evidence the dead body disposed of at Ryugu Island. The suitcase filled with rocks was empty. I have to put this book in too. What does she mean? So she had to put the put the yoga book in the suitcase as well for some reason. Dragon and snake water gods are safe childbirth blessings. Okay. It's the Yudashimona. What the hell do I do with her? Okay. Flashlight, pacifier, dirty necktie, yoga book. The key, the strap, the amulet. I think the amulet might be a good one. Oh, she did want to know about her baby. Should I try that? If I throw this, crumple up the silver certificate and throw it with all my strength. Hits her, she, she drops at her feet? I was hoping she would read it. <laughs> I was hoping it would tell her that the baby died. <laughs> Not throw it in her face. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, we've seen this before. God damn it. I wonder if this one has like good and bad endings like Deathmark as well. Kind of tempted to look at a guide. Try again. Let's see. So let's not crumple up the note and fucking do that. <laughs> okay. So how about baby stuff then? Wanna start with the pacifier? The towel cat? Or the yoga book? Or the safe delivery. I'm gonna start with the pacifier. Hits her, drops at her feet. Didn't work? Fuck. Okay, I'm gonna look it up. See what she needs. Okay, I looked it up, but... Um... I'm a little bit confused. <laughs> Says we have to look at the tree that's behind her. So let's try that. I'm using the Japanese guide, so. Let's see if we can, like, do that. See if I can. Oh, I can! Oh shit, I didn't know I could do that. Trees are pretty far. Wait, so... Use the yoga book on the tree? I found this in the woman's stroller, maybe. Take it out and throw it. Udashimona lets out a shriek and chases after the book. We're all set! On my way! What the fuck? That was the solution? <laughs> <laughs> I reach the shore, I see the boat already floating away out. Here we go. He jumps. Did we lose her? I can't anymore, I'm so tired. She gives up on rowing and slumps over. I think... Ah, there she is! She's 
is coming after us. We need to go now. Hazuki's exhausted. The boat meander meanders instead of moving forward as she tries to row. I don't have any strength. Move, I'll row. I'll gra I grab her arm and pull her out of the seat so we can switch places. Putting my back into it, I begin to row furiously. So fast. Isn't she just gonna follow us though? After a while of desperate rowing through the water, I don't see the Urashimon anymore. I think we managed to get away. I don't know, but we gotta get ashore fast. There she is! Hands grabbing onto the boat refuse to budge. It seems to be pulling us back where we came from. She wants you back at the island. Is she pulling us back to Ryugu Island? We'll see about that. Hazuki, while I keep growing. While I keep rowing, you try to pry your hands off somehow. Me? <laughs> okay, what do I do next? Hitting doesn't seem to work, so I have to get her attention somehow. She's a mom, right? Maybe a treasure of hers. Okay, let me see. Okay. have to use the charm now. Put it in her hand, maybe? I hand her something, yeah. Uh, okay, let's try that. Um, safe birth amulet. Here, this will give you a peace of mind, right? It won't help you if- It won't help you if you don't hold on to it. Force it into her hand. She gently runs her fingers over the object in her hand. She let go. She seems to have realized what it is. With that, the Urashima woman disappears into the water. Now is our chance. Row! Let's get out of here. Okay, I could not have done this without a guide, clearly. <laughs> we scramble off the boat and book it towards the plaza. Straight on from here to the exit. Hurry. Hazuki's looking pale. Her stamina's gotta be on fumes. She does concerts though, doesn't she? Standing and dancing and everything? You would think she has like a ton of stamina then. My eye catches on something over her shoulder. She's still after us! Hazuki, kick it into gear! Just, or just jump on my back or something. That's it, I'm done. I can't run! Okay, we're at the the main square. Our escape's gotten us to the fountain, but it's there that Hazuki's body collapses. Move, we can't stop here. Just a little further, you can do it. Hazuki nods in agreement, but doesn't seem to be moving anytime soon. Not two seconds later, the fountain spews water high into the air. It's only the fountain. Hey, Hazuki. Ah! Did I just see... Was she just at the fountain? Oh, she's right in our faces. Are we gonna see your face? I blink and the Yurashima Onna's there. Whoa! What the fuck? My body seizes up as if electrocuted. Holy shit! I don't know. She comes after us no matter where we run. We gotta do something about her right now. Her grudge. Kakuya said you can get rid of the Yurashima one by learning her grudge, right? She said I'd win the game if I got rid of the Urashima woman's grudge. Then what is her grudge? Okay, so now there's two routes again, like death mark. So there's a bad or er, death route and a cure route. So we want the cure route, obviously. It says we need to give her Shodoten no go I think Oh, here is uh he's explaining it to us. So the death route and the cure route. What does she want us to tell her? What doesn't she know? Death is breathing down my neck. I can't afford to make any mistakes. Just remember everything that happened so far. It might be the death notice. I'm not sure though. I don't know what it means. The Japanese in the guide. To make it extra. Um... So, do I just do this? Okay, so... Sh 
Special Dole 10. It must be the Stillbirth certif Certificate, right? Oh no, that's the bad ending. <gasps> I almost did that. Let me, let me, give me a sec. I need to look into that. Okay, Stillbirth Certificate is bad ending. Or death ending. Calligraphy. Penmanship. What is that? Which item is that? Fuck. It's at the... It's at the entrance. Fuck. It's back at the entrance of the park. Crap. I need to go all the way back. I need to, like, load today's save to get that. So, basically, replay the entire hour. Yoke. Okay, where is it? <gasps> that little piece of paper. Notice for a calligraphy exhibit to be held in the park. That's it! <sighs> it says the work of the contest winners will be displayed at the special event site. The back of the name... Back has the names of the winners. Tatsumi Shimizu. Silver. Oh my god, that one item is what I missed. Yeah, that has to be it. It says inspect the floor in front of the security office. And it says calligraphy something, so that has to be it. Okay. Be right back. <laughs> Okay, final scene, I made it. <laughs> it only took me... It really only took me like 15 minutes to play through the whole hour and a half, so... That's really quick. Um, let's try it, now that I have the item. Uh, where did it go? Calligraphy flyer. I pull out the flyer and skim the words on the cover. This has got to be it. This is what the Urashima Onna is searching for. I open the flyer with both hands in a flourish. It's him, right? What you've been searching for is... Your baby. Hazuki dashes up and points to the name written on the paper. Here, listen. See there? The name. It says Tatsumi won silver in the calligraphy contest. Try to remember. Isn't he your baby? If he is, then he's alive. Your child is still alive. Tatsumi. That's cool. Is it though? Because I thought the stillbirth was for the baby. Purification. Achievement unlocked. Nice. So that's the good one. A binding flash of light. And the Urashima Onna is gone. Survived! Yay! Did it! Had to go all the way back, but worth. Where did she... She's gone. I still remember what happened to the dude. The detective dude in Deathmark when I got the... When I vanquished the ghost, but then he had to die for it. I was like, no one's gonna die in this playthrough. She just vanished. Like she had never been there. Then... are we safe now? Yeah. At least I think so. Please let me save. The Urashima Onna disappeared. Hazuki and, and I stand in a daze for a while. What we just experienced was unbelievable. There's no way to bounce back from that. But why did the Urashima Onna start chasing us out of nowhere? Because it was your time. If that security guard was also killed because he'd been chased, maybe entering the sanctum is what triggered it. That thing was inside that was inside the stroller. What was the Urashima Onna trying to protect? Wait, was she trying to protect it? Is that what it said? What's oh, down there? Is he gonna touch the blood? Oh no. Ah, all better. 
The whispering voices are gone. I guess the curse is lifted. Is this what Kakia meant by uncovering the Urashima on us grudge? I can't believe it. Chased by a spirit, we even exercised it. What an experience. That was amazing. Never again. <laughs> really? I'm ready for a second round myself. <laughs> of course, only if lives aren't on the line. That's right. Where's Ami? Kakia said the Urashima Onna kidnapped Ami, didn't she? No, that's not it. Ami won't come back if we don't play the Urashima Onna game. If we don't play with her. But we defeated her, but Ami's not back. Maybe she's around. Maybe she's just not here. What's that? It's a lot of blood you can touch. In the spot where the Urashima Onna disappeared is a large pool of blood. In the blood are a bunch of rocks. The Urashima Onna hadn't been carrying any rocks. Where did these come from? Hmm, blood. Would I see something if I use my power? Chida. Making my way closer to the pool of blood, I cautiously reach out and touch it. Ami! Small body of a girl sits huddled into a tiny ball, her hands weakly grasping her knees. It's definitely... Ami! There's no response to my call, of course. This is just a memory. Well, at least she's alive. Help! Mom! Onicha! Help me. Is that her blood, then? What did I just see? It looked like Ami was trapped somewhere, but I have no idea where. Na 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 na! How's the midnight date with the idol going? You won't get a better chance to win her over. You just gotta go for it. All out. Quit messing around, dumbass. Get to the point. How are things with the Urashima Onna? Can't say I ever thought I'd be playing tag with the spirit, but somehow it all worked out. My curse is gone and I know Ami's still alive. He's like standing like a couple meters away at the entrance. Let's all meet up at the Black Rabbit. You can tell me the details there. Sure. I'm going to head out now ahead of you. Just don't lower your guard until it's over, Gabu. Is that Amanome? Yeah, he said we should meet up at the Black Rabbit. Let's get going. You were touching the blood earlier. Did you find out anything? That'll have to wait. I only want to explain things once. Fine. Let's go. It's time to save. We get to the park entrance and hide behind some shrubs. It'll be too obvious if we run out at the same time. Even if there aren't any guards, we don't know who might be watching. Let's split up like we did yesterday. Smart. All right, we'll meet back at the Black Rabbit. On light feet, Hazuki easily jumps the fence. Oh. After she's clear, I use my arms to pull myself to the top and quickly clamber over. As soon as my feet hit the ground, I'm dashing through the dark towards the bar. The bar. Welcome back! <laughs> Sounds like things were rough out there. Good job, Gabu. Figured I'd just take it easy while I was waiting. Hazuki's not with you? We split up. She left first, but I guess she's not back yet. She's taking the scenic route or something? Now, of all times? Hope she nothing happened to her. I dial Hazuki's number. Weird. She's not answering. Seriously? I'm not sure I get what's going on, but maybe she's too busy to answer or somewhere with a bad signal? Let's hope so. All we can do right now is hope she's safe. Not just for her sake, but also her own. I feel like she can handle herself, though. Anyway, Maruhashi, give him the thing. Yes, sir. Here you go. I worked really hard on this. <clears throat> he hands me a note covered with really bad handwriting. I squint and see that it's detailed info about the murder. I summed up all the info I found on the internet while I was watching the bar. Look it over when you have the time. Nicely done. Such a short time too. I may have to revise my opinion of you a bit. Mr. Seiji, thank you, sir. I, Mitsuru Marahasi, will do anything to be of help to you, sir. Don't puff yourself up. I did say only a bit. 
All right, Gabu, it's time to hear what happened tonight. I want to. I wanted to wait until Husky got here, but I'm so bored. She's taking too long. I recap. We didn't recap when she was there, though. When I get to the part where we were chased by the Orashimalna, he pales like I figured he would. Oh wait, that part he doesn't know. Yeah. I really am sorry you and Hazuki had to deal with that, but I'm glad I didn't go. The shock probably would have killed me. We avoided gaining an extra corpse. <laughs> oh yeah, I had some time to kill, so I tried analyzing the rumor on my own. Want to know what I figured out? Which one? There were a lot of them. Well, the first one. What else? The one where the Urashima Onna appears if you throw a rock into the lake at night. Aren't you curious as to why it's bad to throw a rock into a lake? I was kind of busy being chased by a spirit, so no, I can't say it was a pressing concern. What did you realize? I think the Urashima Onna believed that her own child's corpse was in the lake. So of course she'd be angry if someone threw a rock. Then she must have thought what happened to her also happened to her kid. Right. After all, her midwife murdered her. She was clearly unhinged. Maybe her mind snapped and she suddenly hated her children, so she, she up and kills the kid. If that happened, then she'd definitely throw the corpse into the lake. The pregnant woman's body, the fetuses, they say what happens twice happens thrice. Whatever really happened, that's what the Urashima woman believed. Yeah, that's what I think. It could be wrong. I could be wrong, of course. The truth may be simpler. Maybe her mothering instincts were protecting the fetuses buried in the lake. But the Ure Urashima woman's gone now. We'll never learn the truth. Hmm. Our conversation comes to an end, but Hazuki's still not back. She's taking too long. You still haven't heard from her? Not one call or message from her. Did she actually get caught? You shouldn't assume things like that, sir. My granny always said, if you think about bad things, they'll come through. You gotta think positive. <laughs> Sir, that hurts! <laughs> Pains me to admit it, but the idiot's right. We should call it a night. The later we're out, the more, likely, the more likely we'll get stopped by the police. I'm sure she'll reach out to you if she's okay. I guess. God, it's bad news though. We leave the black rabbit. I, didn't, I thought she would just show up later. All right, Maruhashi and I need to stop someplace, so we'll split off here. There was an issue during collection. Don't worry, Gabu. I'm sure Hazuki's fine. Later. Damn, I sure hope she's fine. Guy turns the corner. Wait, what if Ami comes back and then... Um, Hazuki gets kidnapped. Guys turn the corner and disappear into the night. Once I leave the station, I take my usual route towards my apartment. But I'm restless. My strides and pace quicken. Should we check out her apartment? Oh, is she finally calling? Hazuki. It's Hazuki. This is Gabu, right? The hell were you doing? Ah, oh, I'm sorry. I was busy running away. Running from a security guard? No, policeman. He called out to me by the path near the shrine, so I ended up bolting without thinking. And my fortune said I had excellent luck today. How do these things happen to me? <sighs> it's unfortunate. Yeah, spirit chasing you is exciting, but I'm just exhausted when it's the police. So now that I've finally gotten away, I called you. Were you right now? Where are you right now? The railroad crossing in Kintoki. You know it? Kintoki? Yeah. Near Kisoji Station, and on the complete opposite end of Yamato Shrine. That's pretty far. She must have been desperate to get away. Where are you? Outside my place. Oh, so your motorcycle is in front of you? Oh, are we gonna take the bike? Hey, Gabu. Coaxing note en enters her voice. I have a bad feeling. Um, I'd love it if you came and picked me up. Let's do it. I want to ride the bike. That would be great. As a thanks, I'll make it worth your while. Worth my while? <laughs> Alright, I'll be waiting. Let's take the bike out for, for a ride. Guess I'm firing up my bike and going to pick up her- pick her up. English! Very hard language. <laughs> Removing the cover and sliding into the seat, I rev the engine a few times because I can. Aw, sounds like a tiny bike! <laughs> It sounds so cute. 
Is it just like a scooter? Justine rumbles to life, the vibrations familiar like an old friend. I go faster and faster, becoming one with the night breeze. This feeling, when all my worries and doubts disappear from my head, I welcome it back every time. What about your sister, though? <laughs> I wanted to say Luna, but that's a different game. <laughs> the railroad crossing in Kintoki should be around here somewhere. But where is Hazuki? Greetings, Gabu. Why'd you change? Hazuki steps out of the shadows, dressed as Kurase. Many thanks for coming for me. Why are you dressed like that? Well, why else? As I said over the phone, it is to make it worth your while. <laughs> Must be significantly more pleasing to write with Kurose than Hazuki, right? No. You appear displeased. Forgive me, I couldn't think of anything else to offer you in return. I like the black hair more. Before we depart, tell me what it was about. What exactly is it? The vision you witnessed through the Urashima woman's blood. You promised you'd tell me later. This isn't gonna be a long episode. Oh right, I did say that. I tell her about how I saw Ami trapped somewhere and all alone. I see. I'm really very glad that Ami is alright. I don't know where the hell she might be though. It's possible you might learn more from here on out. What do you mean? Kakeya seems to have a particular interest in you, Gabu. I'm sure using Ami is how she'll ensure that you, she'll get to play with you again. Then she's a hostage. She's got balls. I'm positive that Kakia will appear before you once again. And you'll have to go after another spirit like before. That's my premonition. Hazuki's just guessing. But when she says it so seriously dressed as Momokurase, I'll admit I'm almost convinced. It's like she's a mystical prophet or something, telling me your prophecy. However, don't run off on your own, Gabu. When the time comes, I, Momokurase, will assist you once more. I'm sure Amanoma will lend a hand as well. You can count on us. Got it. How about that? An honest response from you. Now then, it's best if we get going. I'm bound to make a stir if I'm found the way I look now. Yeah, why would you even do that? Doesn't make sense. Hazuki puts my spare helmet on and climbs on behind me. Ready at your discretion, Gabu. We probably can't save until we go to bed or something. I slowly release the clutch and accelerate. She's fine with being dropped off at my place. I, don't, I would attract too much attention to go to hers. It's close anyway, so it won't take long to get there. Oh, cool. I can't drive all out since, Haz since Hazuki's not wearing the right clothes or riding. We're going slow under the speed limit, but the night breeze still feels nice. A lot happened today. A lot happened this episode! Everything that happened at the shrine. I admit that I felt a chill when the Urashima Onna chased after us. But I won in the end, and she disappeared. I found out something. There are ways to defeat spirits. That should mean Kakia has a weakness too. Oh, smartass! I need info on Kakia. Maybe that bun guy knows something. He and I need to talk. That is, if he's not buried by the Amanome family, yet. I can feel Hazuki's hands on my hands on my hips gripping me tightly. She could be nervous. Maybe I can reassure her by touching her knee. How should I touch it? It's fine. I lightly tap Hazuki's knee. She returns my tap by tapping my leg. Guess that means she's saying she's okay. Aww, this is cute! <laughs> Could have say the occult idol. To me, she's Kaoru Hazuki. I expect her to give up ease early on all this and run away. I expected her to do that, but she's tougher than I imagined. I know she's worried about Ami, but that's not the only thing driving her. God, the motorcycle sounds driving me insane. She was serious when she said her life was all about ghosts and the occult. She's just as crazy as me and Amanome, an outlaw, bucking society. Something wrong with her. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Looks like she's gotten used to the motorcycle vibration. She's humming. Oh, Pee hi. Welcome back, my cat. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. 
Doesn't take us long to reach my apartment. And here we are. The wig and tattoo come off, and now Momo Kurose is back to Kaoru Hazuki. I still can't believe how fast she does that. Thanks, Gabu. God, taping your cheek though over and over. Maybe I'll buy a motorcycle. They're pretty nice. I feel like it would prove provide a lot of inspiration for a new song. Well, the writing and composing is done by someone else. I'm just the image. Honest. Oh yeah, you sing. I may not look it, but I am an idol. I know you don't keep up with trends, but even you have to have at least heard this song. Cute. I like this song so much. <laughs> So cute! I looked for the soundtrack the other day and I couldn't find it. I want this song. So cute! The melody is familiar. It's the song Ami said is my ringtone. This song. I really like it. <laughs> it's a good song. Oh, why so serious? Oh, why so sad? Singing cuts off. Hazuki looked troubled. What's wrong? It's weird, but I suddenly feel embarrassed. Singing so passionately in the middle of the night on the street. I feel like I'm drunk. That was Wander Rabbits, a song by Kaoru Hazuki. This was the main theme for last year's movie. It even made it to the top song charts. Tons of money gets involved when Momokurase sings, but I'm sure this is fine for Kaoru Hazuki. So, what did you think? I like it. I'll have to buy the CD. Thanks so much. Well, I think I'm going to head home now. Thanks a lot for today. I'm pretty sure things would have gone really bad if you hadn't been there. And you were also really cool. <laughs> Good night. Hazuki's steps are light as she dashes down the empty street. She claimed she was too tired to walk, but it looks like she still has some energy. I may as well head inside and go to bed. Yes, please, let me save, for the love of God! <laughs> First thing I do when I step inside is take a shower. All that sweat was getting rank. Finally have time to sit down and relax. Now plop down on the bed and sleep. Oh, let Amanome, yeah. I messaged Amanome to tell that Hazuki's fine. I have nothing else I need to do today. Should go to bed. Aw, poor Ami. Fetus corpses gathered by the killer were disposed of in the lake. The human faced turtles, the fetuses that died. Urashima woman vanished, possibly rocks. An, in that stomach. Oh! She put rocks in her stomach to make it look like she was pregnant? Holy fuck, I didn't even think of that. I saw Ami, looked like she was trapped somewhere. That's gross! Holy shit, I didn't think it was rocks. I thought it was just swollen, maybe water or something. Kisoji murder incident and the Urashimaonna. Culprit murdered victim Himeko Shimizu to kidnap the baby. Corpse disposed of in the lake, stuffed in a suitcase full of rocks. The midwife, arrest mit mit midwife was arrested a few days later. Urashima woman Himeko wanted to know if the child was alive. The baby Tatsumi was safe after the incident. Info from Maruhashi investigation included. So the vision we must have seen with the other baby must have been someone else? I'm a little bit confused about that. Maybe I need to just watch it again. 
Yes! Okay, uh, the first one. There we go. Done! Okay, first chapter, or is it the first chapter? I think this is the second chapter or something. Anyway, the Urashima Onna chapter is now done. So let's see what kind of trouble we get into in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching this long ass episode. It's way longer than an hour. But I'm glad we finished this little chapter. It was good closure. Um, and uh, I'll see you soon, hopefully, with more of this. Thank you so much for watching till the end and see you then. Bye!